I don't even know where to begin. What's up guys, Andrew Bainey here, and today is an extremely special video. I filmed an intro to this already the day that this happened, which was yesterday, but I'm filming another one because I was pretty incohesive, uh, because I was in shock. So as you guys might have seen by now, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, yesterday I received my very own custom Aristides guitar at my complete shock and surprise. Um, so for context, this past weekend, June 6th, was supposed to be my wedding day, but obviously it got postponed due to COVID-19. So much to my surprise, uh, a group of my friends, Johnny Chardulo, uh, you guys all know him from many of my videos, Bill Rice, Eric Martin, who I also just did a video with, Gary Singleton, and Cooper Legace, they all secretly worked together <laughs> behind my back for months and uh, spec'd out a custom Aristides guitar with the owner of Aristides Guitar, who's Pascal. Um, yeah, so yesterday I went over to Johnny's house just to hang out, and I walked into the room, and lo and behold, this was sitting there waiting for me. If you guys want to see the full story and see me almost cry when I walked into it, go check out a video on Johnny's channel. He did a whole much more in-depth explanation of it and about how annoying I was because this whole time I was bothering everyone who works at Aristides because I wanted to buy one of their guitars and they kept ignoring me and I was like, why is it so hard to get a hold of these guys? And meanwhile, it's because they were trying to get me to shut up because this whole time, this was already being built for me and I had no idea. So, with that out of the way, like I said, I really, really want you guys to go check out Johnny's video where he explained the whole thing and it honestly just warms my heart so much to watch that video and see how much effort those guys all put in to make such an incredible wedding gift that I never ever ever would have expected and I really don't know what I did to deserve this or to have such good friends in my life but uh yeah we'll leave it at that because I'm kind of speechless still. So with that out of the way of course I'm going to show you guys how this beast of a guitar sounds in a full mix first and then we're going to talk about the specs. So first and foremost here's what it sounds like in a full mix. This is a song called Eden by Tesseract except of course it's tuned down to drop A instead of drop B and it sounds like this. sounds like in a full mix. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the specs of this instrument and some things that make this even more special than it already is. Uh, so first and foremost, this is an O70R model, which stands for RAW. The R stands for RAW, that is. So this is Aristides' most affordable model. It's still quite expensive, but the reason that they're able to shave off some of the cost is because this color is actually injected into the guitar. And for those of you that don't know, Aristides Guitars does not use any wood in their process whatsoever. So this is all their own material called Arium for the body and the neck. And then the fretboard is Rich Light, which you guys may have played before on some other brands. But Arium is exclusive to Aristides Guitars. 
And yeah, so with the Raw series, like I was saying earlier, the actual color of the guitar is injected into the material. So apparently this material is this color all the way through from my understanding. Um, in addition to that, this is a seven string, of course. So it is a 26 and a half inch scale length, slightly longer than a standard guitar, which I like because you can tune down a little lower easily. Uh, it has hip shot bridge and hip shot locking tuners in chrome. It also has Seymour Duncan Pegasus and Sentient pickups. My boys knew that I was endorsed by Seymour Duncan, so they decided to throw some of those in there. I've never personally had the Pegasus before, but I actually absolutely love how this thing sounds. Uh, and it might be one of the new Seymour Duncan pickups that I need to get in some of my other guitars ASAP. Absolutely love how this thing sounds. Uh, and then we move on to the features that make this guitar super unique. Uh, first and foremost, as you may have noticed, on the 12th fret, there is an inlay which says AB, kind of looks like A flat. That's my logo. You might have seen it all over my channel or on some of my merch. So it's funny because Johnny messaged me like months ago being like, hey, can you send me the uh, vector file for your logo? And I was like, that's kind of a weird request. Like, why would you need my logo? But sure. So I sent it to him. And he was like, yeah, I'm just making a meme or something. And gullible me, of course, totally believed him. But now I know this is what he needed it for. So they threw the AB logo on the 12th fret, which looks amazing. Um, and then also, the most important part of all, on the back of the guitar, on the back of the headstock, they decided to write string gauges as another inlay on the back of the headstock that only I can see whenever I'm playing. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh yeah, and also, of course, for controls, it's got a three-way pickup selector. So, you know, bridge, both, or neck. But it also has a coil split on the volume knob. Also, only a volume knob, no tone knob, which is a great decision by them. They know I hate tone knobs. So if you split the coils, essentially you're only getting the innermost coil. If you go to the middle position, it's the inner two coils, and neck is the inner neck coil, of course. So that's pretty much it in terms of specs for this instrument and that demo that I showed you guys was using the bridge pickup primarily as well as the neck position with the split coil for that little clean section and I think it sounds absolutely awesome. Um, so once again, if you guys want to see a video explaining the whole build process and how they kept this a secret from me, and also if you kind of want to see me almost cry a little bit, go check out Johnny's video. It's on his channel. It's going to be linked right about now as well. I seriously cannot say thank you enough to those guys, uh, the Aristides team, as well as my friends for keeping this all a secret from me and giving me probably the best present I ever could have not even imagined. Like I never thought this would be possible, but... I could say thank you for the for like 20 minutes and just upload a video of me saying thank you, but I'm going to stop at that. So again, go check out his video. It's going to be linked on the screen. Huge, huge thank you to Aristides Guitars. Uh, from my understanding, they put a lot of effort into this as well uh, and made it like incredibly fast on a rush order. Ah, I'm, I'm rambling. You get the point. Go check out Johnny's video for all the details and stay tuned to my channel to see lots more videos with this beautiful, beautiful Aristides 070R. That's all I got to say now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Aristides. Thank you so much to my friends. That's all. Goodbye. I'll see you later.